Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sell wall art on Etsy using My Designs. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is navigate to the listings tab on the left side menu of the My Designs webpage. Um, if you don't have a collection created already, you will need to do that. But as you can see, I'm in an empty collection uh, named Digital Wall Art. So from here, we want to upload some designs. Uh, you can click here and then either drag and drop or you can click and locate the files on your computer. I'm going to drag and drop them here. Um, it allows us to preview the designs before we actually click upload and everything looks good. I've got six uh, good looking nature designs here. So I'll go ahead and click upload designs. As you can see right here, it's working. Um, it shows the bar that it's um, uploading and then it'll show a check mark when it's done. Uh, one thing I do wanna point out while we're waiting for that is it's much better if your files are 6,000 by 4,000 pixels as it will make so that when that we're converting them to different aspect ratios that they'll look much better on wall art. So if you, if you haven't done that, I would suggest doing that before you even upload them. Now that our designs are done uploading here, I'll just make sure that everything looks good and it does. Um, as you can see how I uploaded these and I've already got some data populated, um, that is because I edit the template ahead of time um, and put this data in there so that anytime I upload a design into this digital wall art collection, it'll automatically inherit that data. Now I do want to go over how I have the entire collection set up. So first of all, we've got our primary file slot. Uh, then we've got the resized main is what I named it. We're going to resize this main image. Um, and then we've got mockup one, mockup two, and a zip file. Uh, the zip file is going to contain all our different um, aspect ratios in it. And this is what the customer is actually going to receive if you were selling this on Etsy. So the first thing we want to do is select all of the um, files inside of this collection. You can do that by clicking where the six is. The six is just a representative of how many designs are in this collection. Um, we're going to go ahead and select all and make sure that we have six out of six designs selected so that we're editing this in bulk. Um, as you can see, this empty spot, that is a variable. If I click into it, you'll see keywords.primary keyword. Um, that means this variable is pulling from keywords primary keyword so it's in this field uh, we want to update that so that the data is not just empty uh, we can do that by going to more actions edit and then we go to primary keywords here we'll add to the front and we want to add a variable here in primary keyword and we want to pull from the application file details primary and the file name so what I have these files named is what's going to go into that spot and as you can see it gives us a um, preview here and this first design is the preview it's showing um, that image is located at a place called Angels Landing um, that's why it's named Angels Landing so we'll click update six listings here and continue so now as you can see it populated there where all of these empties were because those were the primary keyword and I can show you on this one it's different forest and fog is what I named that one so you can see under listings like I said it's all updated for all six of these so the data looks good now. Um, the next step is going to be resizing the image. Uh, we can do that by going to more actions, image utility, resize image. Um, the file slot is going to be primary. The output file slot we're going to use is resized main. So I, like I said, I, I named it that because we're resizing the main um, image we have, the primary one. Um, the, the resize is going to be based on aspect ratio. Um, it's going to be a JPEG. That's what we would like this one to be. And the aspect ratio is going to be 11 by 14. And then we can click resize image and continue. You can see under active jobs here where my mouse is, it shows six designs in queue, uh, five now. It works fairly quick. So that should be done in just a moment. Okay, and now that that's done resizing, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the resized image. Um, as you can see in the second file slot, there's now another image. That is the resized one that we just did. Um, we can actually view those in a grid view if we would like by going to the top right corner here um, and clicking that box. And then we can go to file slots and we'll go ahead and select resized main. So as you can see, they look just a little bit different than the original if I switch back to the original. Uh, looks like they're just a little more square. 
um, but that is the first thing we need to do is, is resize them all like this. Uh, the next step is going to be creating some mockups. Um, we can create mockups by going to more actions, mockups, and then we're going to go ahead and search here. Um, we want to go to wall art and then we'll do 11 by 14. So it's going to show us all of the wall art mockups we have for that um, aspect ratio. Um, I do like how this one looks here with the couch. So we'll go ahead and generate a preview from that. Um, but first, our read image slot or from slot is going to be the image that we resized. So it's going to be resized main. The right image slot is going to be mockup one. That's where we want our first mockup to go. So we'll generate a preview and make sure that looks good before we actually click create mockups. And I do like how that looks. It looks very clean. So we'll go ahead and click create mockups here. And then once again, under active jobs, you can see that it's working there. Now that that's done, we'll go ahead and preview those once again within the grid view to make sure that everything looks good. Go to mockup one. And as you can see, we've just created six beautiful mockups for these um, wall art posters. So now we'll go ahead and create another mockup just so we've got two for our Etsy listing. Um, like I said earlier, we go to more actions, mockups, and then we're going to do resized main again. And this time we're gonna uh, write the image to mockup two. Uh, we'll go to wall art again and do 11 by 14. And for the second option, I think I'll use this one with the bathtub under it and we'll click generate preview. And I really like how that one looks as well. So we'll go ahead and use that as our second mockup um, and click create mockups again. And then in under active jobs, you can see that it's uh, six designs are in queue once again. So we'll go to the grid view now. And once that's done here, just finish, we'll select mockup two. So as you can see, we've just created six more and I think that those look really, really good as well. In fact, I like those better than the first one. Um, so if we wanted to, we could create as many mockups as we would like here. Um, we would just create additional file slots, um, but that would take too much time. So this is all I'm going to do is just show you two of them. And then next thing we want to do here is go ahead and create our actual zip file that the customer will receive. Now, the way that we create the zip file here is we would go to more actions. Once again, we, we need to make sure we have all of our designs selected so that we're doing this in bulk. Um, then we go to more actions, image utility. We're going to go to resize image again here. And then the file slot we want to use this time is going to be our resized main. Um, the output file slot is going to be the zip file. Uh, once again, we're going to resize based on aspect ratio. And this time we're going to click the check mark here under zip files. And then it's going to pull up our aspect ratios here and we want to select all of these. So what this is going to do is um, convert the resized main image that we made here into all of four of these aspect ratios. And then it's going to put it into a zip file. And this is what the customer on Etsy would receive is all four of these um, from one image. So now that we have that selected, um, we just click resize image. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is we're doing it as a JPEG. I know a lot of people do wall art as a PDF. So that is an option if you would like to do that. Uh, but we're going to st stick to a JPEG for now and click resize image. And then once again, like I said, with the rest of the things, always whenever we do something like this, it will always be under active jobs showing you that it's working. And uh, most of the things work really quick. So that should be done in just a moment. All right, and now that that's done creating the zip files, as you can see here, if I click over here, it just shows a zip file. Um, we can view what's in the zip by just clicking this button here and it will open the or download the file for us. And this right here, this file is exactly what a paying customer on Etsy would receive. So I'm going to open it here and show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like. So it shows Angels Landing. That's what it's named. And then it shows right after 2 3 ratio, 3 4 ratio, 4 5, etc. So we can click into these and actually view this image. As you can see, that's the first one, the second one. And they're just slightly different, but they fit wall art really, really well for anyone that wants to purchase these on Etsy. 
So the last thing that I want to mention is that you could actually go ahead and just publish this onto Etsy. Um, all we would need to do is just add our tags in and maybe update our data a little bit. But we could do that by just going to the top here where you see publish, clicking that, and then clicking uh, digital Etsy. And then you would go through the prompts there uh, to get it posted to your Etsy shop. So I hope that this all made sense, guys, and you can see how powerful this is if anyone's trying to sell wall art on um, Etsy. Uh, if you guys like this content, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future content.